Hello again, everybody. Um, we'll start, as we always do, with Sky, um, and then we'll move on to PLP and other broadcasters, then we'll turn off the mics, and then we'll move on to the written press. So, Jeremy, do you want to get us off and underway? Hi, okay, David. Hi there. Um, nice to see you again. Um, who's unavailable for Sunday? Um, James, Walt Prowse, and uh, Alfred, and Stephen Scott. Uh, who's unavailable? Not too sure. We've got MD unavailable. I think everybody's available. And uh, James Ward Prowse and uh, Alvarez, are, they're both available as well, yeah. All the things you've talked about there, uh, Premier League experience, uh, scored goals and assisted in goals throughout his career, so if he does that to us, he'll add value to what we've already got. Uh, and we hope Edson will, will bring us something as well. We're looking forward to working with him as well. So I hope the two new signings are, are going to be really positive for us. No, not at the moment, no. We'll, we'll do that. So sort of game by game at the moment, and we'll we'll look into it probably at the end of the transfer window. A week ago, it looked like Harry Maguire might be joining, but that's not happened. Um, your reaction to that? And is Mavropanos formally blasted in the frame to replace? Well, I don't think I would ever really talk about players at other clubs because, uh, but we did make an offer for Harry Maguire, so uh, I agreed with that, and. Uh, we just at the end, it's not been able to. We've not been able to take it any further, so that's unfortunate. Uh, and players at other clubs, we're, we're looking at several, but obviously I'm not going to name them and, and talk about them. Yeah, one of those we think is uh, Kudos over at Ajax. Um, would you still be interested in a player like him, though, if Paqueta actually stays in the team? Uh, well, again, I'm not going to talk about players at other clubs because it's not not my job to do so. But we're we're trying to have a competitive squad. We're trying to have a squad which can. Uh, again, challenge for European places, and if we do that, we need competition. Yeah, and I guess Tim Stevens is a big factor in that. I mean, how important is his work right now? Very important. He's uh, new to the club, getting to know everybody, so uh, we're supporting him and, and hoping that we can continue to add to the squad. What about Jesse Lingard, David? He's been training with you. Um, he was sensational here a couple of years ago. Is he going to get a, a short term deal? Uh, well, we've not we've not even considered a deal at the moment. He's in training to see if we can get him back fit and get him in a, in a decent condition. Uh, he'll be here next week as well. So, no, there's no news on that as far as short-term deals or anything else just now. How's he looking? Uh, well, Jesse's a good player. Probably needing to get himself in uh, the correct condition, and uh, we're working on him. It's well, all the players tend to need four or five weeks pre-season. So, Jesse Jesse's no different from anybody else. Well, they spent a lot of money last year as well, and it didn't necessarily work for them. So that it doesn't always mean that spending money uh, guarantees you success. Uh, Chelsea are entitled to to what the way they, they do. They've done done their own thing for many many years and been incredibly successful. So uh, I'm guessing that they're trying to be successful again, but they've signed a lot of really talented players. Yeah, we, we want everybody to, to come in on you know, the way everybody was in East End of London and obviously the, the night in Prague. Uh, we want that to start the season well. Uh, it'll be a great atmosphere here against uh, Chelsea. So let's hope that we get everybody behind the team and gives us a great chance of getting a result. Yeah, obviously, you no. Know, uh, he's, he's been here before and knows the league well and uh, very experienced manager now. So uh, yeah, it'll be good. To, it's always good to come up against uh, the top top managers and, and he's certainly in that bracket. Thank you. Michelle, PLP. David, just going back to Chelsea, I mean, eight other players who started that game against you guys in February. Is it starting to come they get to Yeah, you're, you're right. It, it does make it difficult because they've got so many players and actually you, uh, they've got a lot of talent and a lot of boys who are relatively new as well. Not all of them are, are, are household names, but a lot of them are very, very good young up-and-coming players. So uh, 
it's not that easy, but obviously I watched them last week and uh, they played really well. So it'll be interesting to see what team they, they put out this week. Um, just going back to Lucas Pagatar, of course, you spoke about him last week. Some reports coming out today about the potential interest of Man City and Pagatar and Lucas collapsing. I just wondered, can you shed any light on the situation at the moment? No, I can't shed any, any light on it. I think I, I admitted last week at the press conference on Friday that yeah, there had been an inquiry from Manchester City on, on Lucas, but uh, I've got no more to sort of add to that at this moment in time. BBC London. Well, we had it last year. We signed a lot of players last year, and it doesn't always uh, work in your favour because sometimes it take, takes time to settle in, people to get to know uh, other players who are new to them as well. But obviously, you know, I think that uh, bringing in the players will give Chelsea uh, a better and stronger squad. But they done that last year as well, you know, and, it, and for many ways it probably didn't work. They probably had too many players. That's a problem for, for the coaches as well. If you've got too many players, it causes you different sorts of uh, problems behind the scenes, which, you know, I don't think the media discuss too much about because they're more interested in just seeing more signings coming in at every club. But it's never good for any manager to have far too many players. Yes, I do, yeah. And would it matter to you if no more signings were made? Uh, yes, it would matter. But you, know, but you have to sometimes expect that maybe that may be the case and you have to live with it. But uh, but we're trying to add to it, yes. And you mentioned the, the new rules that we saw kind of come into play last week in the Premier League. Um, seeing how they kind of affect a game, say the additional time, the cards, does that worry you at all? Or are you kind of worried about any future games where they could potentially cause an issue? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I think I think there's probably more to it. I think the the new timekeeping rules are are interesting. Uh, I think a lot of the rules you know, we're seeing an awful lot of really soft bookings at the moment. I think we're probably going to have a record number of bookings this season and probably red cards as well with the way it's going just now. And uh, I don't think that's good because it's drawing more attention to the referees instead of you know us really being more interested in the football. But. Uh, that's the rules, and we have to abide by them, and we'll do our best to do so. And finally, I know I asked about the semis last week as the World Cup final this weekend on Sunday. Um, you said last time it's great to see the women's game growing. Do you perhaps have some more development and money to into the West Ham women's side? Well, I couldn't really comment on that because I don't know when you when you're sort of asking me that that question. I couldn't tell you if we put lots in or no, we don't. It's, uh, but what I do know is that. It's great to see that the, the ladies' football is growing so well. I think the England ladies are doing brilliantly well for the country. Uh, I think it would be great if they could bring it home, because then as a Scotsman I wouldn't be kept getting told it's the men who's going to bring it home, but the ladies are going to bring it home for <laughs> England, which uh, I'm really pleased for them. So, uh, so yeah, it's good.